Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. <clears throat> Since I am not feeling that good, we are going to do something simple today. So, when I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, I brought some of this. Oh, well, wait a minute. Some of this, um, one blue and one like an iridescent. Let me show you. And we are going to do a BB Craft project today. It's this, the basket wrap. I got the one in blue, and they're half off this week, I believe. So I paid $2.50. And then this is the iridescent wrap, which when you take a heat gun to, looks like this. But when you take the heat gun, oops, to the blue, it doesn't color shift because it's not iridescent. But when you put two of them together and melt them together, you get, yeah, pretty colors. But yeah, the the um the plastic gift wraps, like if you're wrapping edibles and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna do something easy. So we've got one here that is not backed in blue or melted together that I'm gonna use for the big wings. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm going to try to get the one that's melded together for the smaller wings and just see how they look under resin. I am going to use UV resin today. Now, I made a little template. I'm not used the paper that's here. So <laughs> but I made a little template for the larger wings, and I haven't done a small wing yet, so I figured I would show y'all on the small wing. Uh, but this will go reversible on each wing. And I'm going to just use it to cut this one out for the big one. Now for the little one, I kind of done not trace it. But what I do is, I'll just do it again. I just put it on here and take, you can take your fingernail. Or you can take a stick and just rub it and it leaves an indentation like on the paper. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all might be able to. I can see it. And then you're just going to... I usually cut onto the inside of it. You want it smaller than what this actually is. And if I do too small, hey, it's just a little piece of paper. I can do it again. But mainly, it seems like... I usually have to <clears throat> go over it yet every time. So, yeah, see, you just, well, I done cut the little tip off of there. Boy, I tell you, well, let's do it again. Yeah, I kind of cut around that, that wing part there. Okay, let's do this again. Like I said, it's just paper. Very easy to, to trace out, basically very easily let me cut that off so i can cut around it a little easier oh me oh my i am pretty sure i'm gonna have to cut this one down some more yeah i figured that okay so let's see that part right in there fits seems like pretty good hopefully my big old head ain't in the way but this part right here I need to trim off because you want it smaller than the actual piece that you're going to put in so I'll just trim a little bit more off oh I still need some more off don't I yeah we'll see now that fits in pretty good Except for this part right in here. Okay, let me lift this out. I will go around this part right here. Why is it the larger one was easier to do than this little one? It doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. It, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So, and then I will just flip it over to do this one when we get to that actually I think a little bit more can come off literally right in here just a wee bit 
All right, so I'm going to get all this out the way. Now, that's for the small one. But I'm going to cut the big one out of this one. It's like a green... Um, dang, what is it? It's like a green and a burnt orange or reddish color that showed up. Oh, Lord, my head is hurting. Gracious. So I'm going to just hold it in place the best I can and trim around it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Does not have to be perfect, but I just want to see what this looks like. I have not tried this yet with this in resin. So I just want to see. And I don't think the blue would look pretty good on its own, but these may. Okay, so that would be for this one. And I'm going to just double check because, see, I can just press that in. And on the tip here, I'm going to just kind of slice it so I can get it in between there. So that's for that one. So now I need to flip this wing over to this way and get another wing out of here. So I'm going to flip him and cut a whole nother wing section here. I just really want to see if this what this is going to look like. And you can layer these and melt these together, even the same one. Okay, so, and I'm going to split the top so that little hole can go through it best, it's, best it can. Okay, it's a little crinkly there. But it's all right. Once you put some UV resin in here and stick it down, I think it will stick a lot better. So that's going to be that one. I always save these little pieces. I have some in the cups because I just cut them up. I cut, oh, yeah, don't get rid of the, the good wing here. And this wing, let me make sure this is the right one I, I had to cut. Okay, I think that's, yeah. Let me get the, or is it that? No, it's not that one. Okay, so this one I'm going to use where both of them were melded together. So, let's see. I'm just trying to find a spot I may like on here and just trim it out. Ain't got to be perfect. I ain't worried about it. Just try to get a spot that I like. That's kind of already cut perfectly right there. And then we are just going, I'm going to just use the UV resin. And these are the molds that I got from BB Craft. I brought two of them and I will link them in the description. I will also see if I can pull up this, um, this from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they sell it online or not, but they may. But I will see if I can get that. Now, see, that's going to give a little blue effect. So, let's see. That goes... Yeah, I need to cut it this way now. So, that's going to give us a blue effect on that. So, I'm just going to get this one cut out. And we're just... It's not perfect. But we're just trying to get it as close as we can. And this is fairly thin. Okay. Cut a wee bit more off right there. Let me look at it and see. Um, a little bit more off here. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little slit in it. And then we are going to put him right there. But, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I need some water. I am going to put some UV resin on the bottom first. So, and I have my Let's Resin UV High Velocity I'm going to use. I don't have gloves on because I am not touching anything. You know what? I'm going to put some on anyway. Just to be on the safe side. 
Oh my goodness, I get one glove and 20 fall out. Gracious. Pick up one and 20 fall out the container. Goodness. Okay, ow. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just get a little bit of UV resin in here, hopefully. There will not be any bubbles. And I'm going to just try to get enough in there to where I got it turned upside down. To where I'm going to spread it around now. And get in all these little nooks and crannies. Get around in here. Try to get it. And if it starts separating, I will add a little bit more. But I kind of want to get it in every little nook and cranny in these little wings here. And try to make sure, like I said, there's no bubbles in here. Even though I think I see some. Oh, these are probably going to go flying off the thing. Try to blow some out. Oh, ah! Went flying. Yeah, long end. And I don't think that helped with these bubbles whatsoever. Yeah, they are like trapped at the bottom down there. Are you really going to see the bubbles? I think I need a little bit more in here. I'll put a drop for now. And see how we are doing. Spread it around. Try to get this bubble right here. Maybe I will take a lighter to it and see if that helps with these bubbles and hopefully I don't burn anything. I'm gonna say I don't use it that often. Okay, that did help. That did help, but it's separating right here. So I don't want it all the way filled. But I might need some right there. Got some bubbles right there. I need a paper towel. I'm not prepared. Okay, let me see here. Okay, that at least got rid of that bubble. It's not getting rid of that one, though. To bring him to the surface there. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta bring them out. Okay, so now I don't know what's what because they all blew away. Okay, so. Um. Uh oh. Uh -uh. Okay, so this one goes here? I don't even know. Yeah, it has to because there's the slit. Okay, so we are just going to press this down in here. And see that slit goes right through there. I'm glad I did put gloves on because I am touching this stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so see, I've got it all pushed up. There is one bubble that popped up right there. I'm going to push him down some. Is that a bubble? No. Okay, so I'm going to go on and get this starting to cure here try to push him back down in there his little thing want to curl up on me that's why i'm trying to do them one at a time as well now 
I am going to pick him up and do the back. Let's see how well it's drying. Okay, kind of need to, you know, I might have to recut these holes out and that'll be okay. I think that kind of rose up into the hole there. <laughs> so now I'm going to just put some on top of it and kind of squish him around in here and kind of get him all leveled up. And then we'll start on the second one yeah I mean if I have to redo this hole it'll be fine because I can easily just punch it out so that's no biggie that is no biggie at all I just want to make sure all these are in there I'm going to go over this real quick I want to make sure all of that is not separated or anything and it's all covered maybe a tad bit more in the middle there all righty okay oh my nose all right so i'm going to hit that with the cure a little bit here i'm not going to worry about it because I am getting ready to start on this one. Is there something in there? Yes, let me get a piece of tape. There's something in there. Uh oh, I was gonna say, where's the tape? Um, right there in front of you. Oh, we need a small piece and hopefully it can go in there. Oh, it's a piece of glitter in there. And I cannot get that booger for nothing. Okay, maybe this will work. There we go. Piece of glitter. Alrighty. So I am going to go on and get this in here. And you really don't want to spray this with alcohol. Because it kind of... I don't know, it doesn't do well with alcohol. UV resin doesn't. Personally, I love regular resin. And you can definitely pour this with regular resin with no problems whatsoever. And if I felt better, that's most likely exactly what I would be using is regular resin. Because it, 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 will, it would not be as quick but you wouldn't have all these bubble issues and all this good stuff so yeah and he does not want to come up off that wing for nothing so yeah you wouldn't have look at all these little bubbles in here you would not have this issue with regular resin because you could um spray it I think it needs a little bit more UV, especially right there. Yeah, I'm not a big, big fan of UV resin, but some plate sometimes it's necessary, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm busy, Arthur. Okay, you can't answer the door, love. I got to stop doing what I'm doing just to come answer the door. Really? Yeah. Not today. Men. Okay, so that's got that you got that slit right there so this is the right way i'm trying to go by the slit 
so I can tell what's what. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so we just go push him down into the UV resin and try to release some of these bubbles that are popping up. Yeah, he wants to stick up. He doesn't want to lay flat there. Alright, so I'm going to hit him with the UV resin a little bit. Make sure nothing curls before it's completely set. And then I can press it down. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I do need to get this side as well. And like I said, I am going to put this under the other UV light. My God, it's hot in here. Turn the fan on high. About to roast. Air conditioner on 69. I'm still hot. Who goodness. Okay, so we know that goes there and that goes there. I'm going to do my best to do both these at once. I'm going to try, people. I'm going to try. Alright, let's see here. I got to get it spread around. Try to hit for these bubbles. But see, they're stuck at the bottom. They're not on the top. But if they're not on the top, then that lighter really doesn't get them. So... Yeah. I'm going to make sure I've got enough. And then the bubbles might not even matter. You may not even see them with the iridescence. But I really don't want to take that chance. I'll just do at least do the best I can and get as much as I can of the bubbles out. At least. Try to bring them to the surface. To where they can get popped. There goes some around the little thing there. At least try to pop them up to where this this slider will pop them. Little boogers. At least. I think I need some more on this one. Put a little bit more in there as well. Oh, where'd my thingy go? My thingy. Okay, do I see any bubbles? I'm sorry, my big head's probably all up in the way. Oh, I see one right there. Big old bubble popping up. And there's one there. Is that? That's a little one. Want to get you out too? Is there any? There's a few small ones in here. Okay, you know what? It's separating a little bit. Oh, probably because it's all running down this way when I am tilting it. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with a lighter one, one more time, and whatever it gets, it gets. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so let's see. The round part goes here. Oh, did I cut those? I can't even remember, to be honest with you. Okay. I can't, oh, can't pick them up. Okay, I'm going to switch over to this now. I haven't made UV jewelry in a while. I start just to do all colored UV resin with some glitter, but I really want to see how this looks up under resin. And this is the one, the blue tint one is the one where they're doubled. They're blue and the iridescent was melted together. And I just have a regular heat gun. It's no 
specialty heat gun or anything. Just a regular old heat gun. Just a regular old heat gun. That's all. I've had it for ages because I use it to pop bubbles on tables that I do resin with too. And to blow it. Alright, so I'm going to try to go on and get this to stick down in here a little bit there. Okay, come on. If you hit it with a little bit of light, then press it. It will make it go down some. There we go. Okay, you, yeah. Try not to thing my, oh, thing to it. This is pretty good. I'm going to hit this in the front here. I don't know if you're going to see these, but I can see these even through that. I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but we'll see, won't we? They may, they may not. We will see. Okay, so now basically we are going to just pour the top coat and <clears throat> I need a cough drop. I done took a cough pill, one of those little pearl pills the doctors give you. It did help. Alright, so I am going to cover this. I don't even know if I, oops. I don't even know if I have a, a, a thing that will fit these to put on the earring hoops. Yeah, I just thought it depends on, on how thick these get. Yeah, for me anyway. Let me push that all the way to there. This one still needs some more resin in it or at least it looks like it does it might not no never mind never mind it, it, it's got to flow around I'm gonna put the lighter on it try to pop a few bubbles beforehand and it's curling up on me a slight bit actually when you want something to curl because I kind of wanted it to curl because it's butterfly wings. Now it doesn't want to curl that much. I kind of was hoping it curled a good little bit actually. But I'm going to leave that alone. When you want something to do something, it won't do it. Okay, let me see. I don't see any bubbles, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Oh, I was supposed to hit it with the lighter. What, what am I doing? I don't think it's going to work on this because the light don't hit it, but oh well. Alright, so we should be done with the UV resin. I am going to make sure these are cured. I did pull two earrings out with two pinch bells, but the other ones I have are not pinch bell earrings. They're like the ones you slide over I've got some more, but I couldn't find them this morning. I sure didn't feel like looking. I've done lost the remote to my TV in my, my craft room. I can't find it nowhere. It's one of those Amazon Fire TVs, and I can't find that remote nowhere. So, yeah. I'm so upset. I don't know what I did with the remote, but I'll find it. It's in here somewhere. Okay, just how hard is that? I don't think it's as hard as I would like it to be. It's still a little soft. Okay, I can put you back. Put these over here. Put my marker up. Okay, I can put all this out the way. Trash can. Oops. Oh, it's on this side. The one hand that I don't have the stuff in. 
Alrighty. I'm gonna go get a white sheet of paper. Or do I have one up? Yeah, I do have one up under here. Yay. Alrighty. Woohoo. All right, I am going to take off the gloves. Oh Lord, my hands are sweating. I tell you, I am just hot. All right, let's see how these pop out and look. Well, honestly, I see the veining in them. Oh, that is pretty. I, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is pretty. A little overage around it. Yeah, I see a few bubbles, but you know what? They looks like dew on the butterfly wings. Alrighty. I don't know if y'all can see that. I am really hoping you can. The green and the gold, that is really... It's subtle, but yet so pretty. It's subtle yet pretty. I'm going to clean out the back of this right here. Or at least a tip to. I am going to see if this will. That is so pretty. Fit on one of these pinch bales. That I have here. See it's a little pinch bell earring. Oh, yeah, these will fit. Well, if I can get it in there. Hold on, let me find my jewelry pliers. If I can. Oh, here they are. Oh, goodness gracious, somebody. It is hot. I, it's like I ain't even got a fan on. And I need a new ceiling fan. This thing, I hate ceiling huggers. That's what I call them. Did that even go in there? You know what? This thing is getting on my nerves. I don't even think it went in there. Or I'm just crazy. One or the other. I don't think I'm that crazy. I don't think so. Oh my goodness. I hate these things. It's not even in there. Get your little butt in there. Why y'all don't like me today? Oh, yay. Okay, I finally got it. Yay. There. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. Oh, my word. That is so pretty. Get the old rich off. This one turned out the same. This little bit of over if I can't oh lord be a cut tooth thing now this one's a little bit thinner so did I even I can put some more UV on the back of these yeah these are really really cute but yeah, I can fill these up with some more UV on the backings. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. If I can get this in there. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Now, I, I don't know about the other pair of earrings. Oh, that's, did I get it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I want to wear these myself. Did I get it? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, it's just moving around. Yay. Oh, these are so pretty. And they are a little curved. This one's thinner. I think it needs some more UV resin. And there's a bubble. Yeah, it is thinner. But you, you know what? I'm not going to do it on camera. But all I got to do is flip it on the back. Put some UV and cure it. That's all I need to do to that one. This one and this one. 
Yeah, I mean, that's all I got to do. Make sure the hole is cleared out. I don't have anything I think that will fit these. But I will see. Um, hmm. Honestly, this one doesn't show as good as this one. I know it may be hard to tell. Now, on that side, it shows fine. I must have had them up the wrong side. I must have had them on the wrong. I must have had them on the blue side. Because look at this side. Yeah, I had them on the blue side. I had it turned wrong. If I would have had it flipped the other way, that's what you would have seen instead of this. Yeah, I had the, the thing flipped wrong. If you flip it over, so that's the difference between that and these. This one was just blue melted together. Honestly, I love these. They're, they look delicate and light. Love them. Yeah, I don't think these are going to fit on these earrings, though. These are basically my favorite earring hoops. I love these. I honestly, I, I just, I love wearing these. These are stainless steel. I like wearing stainless steel products. That's just me. I hope it, oh yeah, it does fit. Yes. Woo, woo. I mean, they're still adorable, but if I would have just turned it on that side, I had it turned wrong. At least they fit. Okay. Yeah, I love stainless steel. Honestly. Okay, now this one. I think it turned out great except for me turning this on the wrong side. But like I said, I'm not, just don't feel well. I'm burning up. I'm hot. I don't have the flu. I just have a cold. But it, it I am burning up. Throat hurts. Head hurts. You know the doctors you're fine but it's okay i do feel better than i did I, I really do it's just i feel so hot and i don't feel like talking so i apologize i'm trying i don't feel like talking that's why i'm trying to do just a short video and then i'm going to lay down all right, so I always get that backwards. Okay, there we go. Oh, this one's a little thicker. Oh, okay, so if it turns out a little thick, we just going to shave it off on the back. That's all you have to do. Shave him off in the back. If he's a little too thick to go on there, shave him off. Oh, he's still a little too thick. Let me shave a little bit more off here. Let me see where it's coming up at. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's still a little too thick. That's why I was saying I wasn't sure if these would even fit on there because you can't put really thick earrings on these. Okay, that's much better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Yeah, it's not perfect. I still feel like it needs a little more trimming. Because, see, this one just dangles. Oh, yeah, you could tell the thickness. Oh, yeah. But so pretty. They're still pretty. They are still lovely, but I'm not going to lie. I love these. I am going to put another backing of UV resin on the back of it. Only because it's thin. Thinner than this one, anyway. You can tell the, the difference. In. Clean, well, I ain't going to clean it up because I'm going to put another thing of resin on it. But yeah, these, honestly, my favorite. I think these might have been my favorite if they were turned. Oops, that way. Because that is gorgeous. And yeah, you could put them that way. But then you don't get the indentations 
of the butterfly and you can go in here with a little tiny pin but that is really small anyway I do want to make these again but in regular resin not UV so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video I at least tried I will try to see if they link these like I said this is this one just by itself this one was a combo of this one it was this the blue and this melted together on this one so you got the blue side which ended up being on this side and then you had that side ended up being on the wrong side because I turned them wrong <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so yeah <laughs> but I love the little BB craft mold check them out love them I will put the link in it and how much I can't I threw away the paper because I had done done an unboxing video so yeah just check them out I think you'll enjoy them everyone stay safe and have a blessed day thank you all so much for watching bye for now I'm gonna wear those those look too cute <laughs>